Hey guys, welcome to Professor Peters, and today we have another custom build. Real quick, this is one of our actual employers. He has a custom build he uses this for a game at home, and it's kind of filthy. It's getting really dirty. So he's got a Ryzen 5 with a Cooler Master RGB cooler. It's got the Infinity Mirror in there. It looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if you guys can see it here properly. 1660 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 510 case from NZXT. We're gonna go ahead and clean this machine and show you guys how it's done and how it will look after it's finished. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right guys, so real quick, these are the two products that we mainly use at the office. We also have a blower that we'll be using to dust out this machine. This is, uh, it's just a can of air and we usually uh, recommend you guys clean the machines every six months. So you just blow it up real quick and you also can use this product. Now be, be aware, this is type of a foam kind of cleaner. So if you apply to your paper towel, it creates that kind of pattern and you can use it only on surfaces. So you can just start cleaning out real quick. And I don't know if you can see it from here, but it's picking up already dust of this machine. Um, be aware, do not use this product on electronics. And I'm talking about the motherboard. You can use it if you have a liquid cooler and you have room to clean the actual backlit of your video card. Yes, you can do that, but you can't just go ahead and blow this on the motherboard and start cleaning things out because some people may actually do that and we obviously don't want your computer to be shorted out after you clean it. So let's go ahead and jump into the actual blow up machine. So now we're gonna go ahead and clean the glass. Just real quick, we're not sponsored by Blow Off, but this is what we use in house and this is what we offer for our clients. So just real quick, when you going to clean a, a tempered glass panel, be very gentle and careful with it. Um, I actually had an encounter where I took off the last screw and the tempered glass completely shattered. It was like a movie. So be really gentle with this uh, glass, it can break. Um, so I'm just gonna show you, you just put, like I showed you before, a little bit of it, and then you kind of close it so that it spreads inside, and then you gently pull from the side, and you just kind of go like this. One side motion, one side motion, and I also recommend if you can do it on your bed, it's actually better, because you, this is on a flat surface, which is on top of the case, as you can tell. But if you do it on your bed, that means it's gonna be a higher chance to avoid breaking the actual glass. So now this is on the other side, and just go up and down, just, you know, just be gentle with it. Hey guys, so before you clean your machines with the can of air, make sure you avoid doing it upside down. If you actually do it upside down, the liquid, the air that's inside of it, it'll start spreading out and you can actually mess up your components. So I want to show you real quick a demonstration of it. That's what happens right there. And as you can tell, it's very cold. Um, if you actually touch that, you can actually burn your hand. So 
which is literally on a paper towel, but be really, really careful when you clean the machines. We're gonna go ahead and show you how the product is actually finished once we get it cleaned up. All right guys, so now we got the finished product right here. We're gonna make a nice clean shots for you guys to take a look at the actual inside of the machine um, after it's clean. Uh, again, we're not sponsored by Blow Off, but this is what we use and this is what we offer for our clients. If you guys have any questions, you can leave your comments down below. Like and subscribe if you'd like. If you have any questions, give us a call at 21 647 Thank you.